Colton Derek Cunningham says, this is practical, uh, when sitting on a bar stool, should the pleats go under your butt or over the stool? What is the proper way to sit on a bar stool when wearing a kilt? Okay. We're assuming the bar stool does not have a back. Has I, a back? Yes. Obviously, bar stool. under the butt. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> One of those yuppie. How do I do it? Now, first, I, let me address the elephant in the room. If you are not wearing underwear, for the love of God, <laughs> for the love of all that is sanitary and holy in this world, hmm. put the pleats under your own dirty butt. Do not sit your naked butt on a bar stool. I'm starting there. Yes, I'm judging you. So, assuming you have underwear, you have options. If you don't have underwear, don't do that. For the love of... Why are you order? Uh, sorry, I had to whip it down. So, Three Stooges reference. Why you? Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to the question. Never. <laughs> if you're wearing underwear, then I would say that Personally speaking, I break it into two categories, and then one of the two categories I break in half. If I am leaning against the bar stool, meaning feet on the ground, and just kind of, you know, cheeks upon bar stool, like off to the edge of the bar stool, then obviously pleats underneath myself. If I am fully seated upon the bar stool, feet on the rungs, you know, right up there, um, then I would say it's probably for that 50-50. And uh, I would probably start with pleats underneath myself. Um, but if I sit on the bar stool and the pleats are like bunched up weird um, or it's a heavier duty kilt and it's like, I can't get comfortable, then fine. I'll just kick them off the back and be like, okay, fine. Underwear on the bar stool. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's my... Really long-winded answer to a stupid, simple question, Eric. Yeah. Pretty much, I, I I never really thought about it much, but I think I almost always uh, sit on the pleats. I just sweep them like I would in a normal chair. Honestly, I could see that maybe with some stools, um, like if it's got that limited um, footrest bar that's very narrow on the front of the stool, um, it would be it feel more awkward to do the the man spread you're supposed to do when you're wearing a kilt because um, then you're like putting your feet together at the bottom and you're still spreading your knees out. It might be awkward and therefore it might be easier to have the pleats going over the stool. But honestly, I just don't like the feel of a, any kind of a chair, especially like a vinyl bar stool on the backs of my legs. So it's just like sticky and stuff. So I'd rather be sitting on my pleats anyway. Yeah. So I, I just default to that. And half the time I'll just, I'll lean on it if given the option, you know? Yeah. I, I would so. also say that it's, if you're sitting on the bar stool and, and the pleats are bunching up underneath you, the other option you have is you grab the fabric on either side and pull it out the sides so you're mm -hmm. sitting on less fabric yeah. on the bar stool. Um, what I will say is if you are on stage in a kilt, lean on the bar stool. Do not jump up onto the bar stool because the people in the front row will get more of a show than they paid for. Mm. Um, it is <laughs> worth the price of admission, my friends. Um, no, there's a, uh, yeah, it's remember you're in a kilt and you know, you have, you know, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so I don't think it was on camera. Uh, it's the bottom of the kilt is at eye level with people, you know, coming out. So leaning on the bar stool, your angle of your body is facing down towards the ground. If you're fully up on the bar stool without your, you know, your knees together in the front, which is uncomfortable, um, yeah. then you're, you're giving an eyeful to the audience. So just be aware. I'll go one more. I, this is speculation, but I have a feeling you'd be more likely to attract, uh, kilt lifters or, uh, indiscreet inebriated onlookers if the pleats are going over the back of the bar stool. That's fair. They're going to see this curtain and they're going to want to know what's behind the curtain. And they're more likely to come along and go or do something hoping to see your butt on a bar stool for whatever reason. But it's the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, so you know, pay no attention to the junk behind the curtain. So yeah, it's... Uh, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. I, I, I would say that would be a reason to not do it also. I agree. So, yeah, never thought of that. But, yeah. Yes. Good luck. Mac? I'm just, 
imagining the sound, the tackiness getting off it. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. And you think about how everybody else is sat on that bar stool. Yep. And, yeah, and what's just, spilled uh, all over uh, that stool. Yep. I yep. love how your ass yep. makes a suction noise when you get off a bar stool. <laughs> <laughs> vacuum sealed but no, yeah. thank you for watching you want more questions like that answered you can contribute check out the comments section and tell us what you want us to talk about also check out all of our other videos on this channel and be sure to check us out on other platforms like facebook and tiktok